The Eye Moat by Sylvia Plath. Blameless as daylight, I stood looking at a field of horses, necks bent, manes blown, tails streaming against the green backdrop of sycamores. Sun was striking while chapel pinnacles over the roofs holding the horses, the clouds, the leaves. Steadily rooted, though they were all flowing away to the left like reeds in a sea, when the splinter flew in and stuck my eye, needling it dark. Then I was seeing a melding of shapes in a hot rain, horses warped on the altering green, outlandish as double-humped camels or unicorns grazing at the margins of a bad monochrome, beasts of oasis, a better time, abrading my lid. The small grain burns, red cinder around which I, myself, horses, planets, and spires revolve. Neither tears nor the easing flush of eye baths can unseat to the speck. It sticks, and it has stuck a week. I wear the present itch for flesh, blind to what will be and what was. I dream that I am Oedipus, what I want back is what I was before the bed, before the knife, before the brooch pin, and the salve fixed me in this parenthesis, horses fluent in the wind, a place, a time, gone out of mind.